of my new favorite features in AutoCAD 2017 is the new associative center line and starter mark functionality. So I'm going to switch to the annotate tab here and from the annotate tab notice the new center lines panel. Within this panel there's two options. Now before I launch this what I'm going to do is let's just take a look at a couple of the new system variables that we can use or, or drawing variables. So I'm just going to type center and notice that there's the center cross gap, cr uh, center cross size, um, we can see center later, center line, so we can see all these functionality. Now there is the new associative option, so center associate, so the center line and center mark will actually become associative to that object. So that's what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to select center mark, I'm going to pick the circle, and notice how it's applied that, really no different than the past, but the difference is now is that notice that when I pick the circle and I start to change its size, notice that the center mark automatically readjusts with it. If I take the circle and I move it, notice that the center mark is moving with it because it's now associative to that particular object. Now I'm going to delete this and again I'm going to type center and I'm going to start center layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make AM7N the layer that I want for my center marks. So now if I come in here and I pick center mark and I pick it, notice that it's put it onto that layer even though layer 0 is the active layer. Okay, we'll delete this again. Let's type center again, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the center cross size. I can see right now it's 0.1 times, so what I really want here is I want 0.25x times, so that would be 0.25 times the size of the object. So I'm going to pick center mark, I'm going to pick it, and notice that the, the mark here has gotten bigger. If we take a look at what else we can, we can control in here, I can take the cross size, the cross gap. Um, let's take the cross gap. Let's make this 0.125x. Let's delete this again. Let's start that. Let's pick this. And notice that the gap has increased. So you may have to play with these values a little bit until you get what, what you're happy with or what you're satisfied with. But you can really go in there and you can really um, manage how these things are going to be automatically created as you start creating your, your particular symbols. Now the other one obviously is the center line functionality, so I'm going to pick center line. And what's looking for in this case is the first line, then the second line, and what it does is it bisects that distance. So it's put that right in the middle between them, and it's generated that line. Now if it wasn't quite the size that I wanted, I can actually increase or decrease that size as you can see here with the arrows at the end. And why it's not moving right now, I'm not sure, but you can go in there and you can actually change, there we go, you can actually change the length of that line. Now let's just zoom out here a bit and let's just draw in, let's just change the layer here. Let's draw in two lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center line, I'm going to pick the two of them, notice how it bisects it. And if I take this line and start adjusting it, notice how that line is, that center line is always going to stay in the middle between there. So again, I can take this and I can, I can resize it if I need to, but it remains associative with the objects. Now I can break it, so I could actually take this and I can delete it. So now what I have here is I just have a line that's not really associative with anything. So if I take this one and move it, the associativity is gone. So this is one of my new favorite features um, within AutoCAD 2017. I think it's actually been a long time coming. But it's the, the associative center mark and center line features um, that become associative to the objects as you as you create them.